welcome back to Chester Wild NZ. Today we're going to do more suppressor testing. I've got 10 odd different suppressors from around New Zealand and overseas. They're all specced on at 30 cal. They're all done on the same day on the same testing rig and she's running beautifully. Right, let's not mess around, let's get into it. We're going to be testing the total recoil or the total energy from each shot with the different suppressors on the end of this 308. What we're likely to find is that the quieter suppressors slow the gas so that it's coming out slower and therefore have less recoil. Testing sound levels for suppressors is very expensive and it's way out of my budget. The gun we're using today is a Ruger Precision in 308, kindly donated by Gun City in Christchurch on the ammo as well as Fiocchi 308 Winchester 147 grain FM jazz. First up we need to get a baseline by doing multiple bare barrel shots. I made sure I shot each suppressor five or six times to get a good average result. I certainly found that it took about three times from new to get them to settle and behave as they should. Trends certainly started showing and you get a good feel for how they perform. This testing took many hours and over 120 rounds. I can't show you every shot, but I'm very happy with the results. Right guys and welcome to my man shed. Before I show you the results, let's go through a few things. Firstly, muzzle forward or the distance past the muzzle seems to be very important. I've even split the results into two check tables, one with a six inch uh, forward chart and one with four inch forward chart. They're so different that it's well worth doing this. If your application suits going six inch forward past that muzzle, I highly recommend you do so. Better for recoil, better for noise. The weight. The weight difference between each suppressor does make a difference. Obviously the heavier ones do have an advantage. However, as a percentage, the overall mass of that sled with the rifle, the difference between the lightest suppressor and the heaviest suppressor was only about 1%. And here are the results for the 4 inch forward ones. You can see that the Christchurch made hush power titanium one just edged out the competition. But in general, 4 inch forward will only get you so far. Next up we have the 6 inch forward. You can see that the results are almost twice as good um, as the 4 inch forward and that's why I recommend if you can use a 6 inch forward one. Everything that happens in front of the muzzle seems to have a massive effect. The ATAC ones for instance are only 80 mil over the barrel and yet they're amongst the best you can buy. Right, for those of you that have stuck around for more information, here's some things to consider. Buying a caliber specific silencer is very important. Our testing has found that once you go more than one millimeter bigger, it severely affects its performance. Testing overall energy of each shot. To me, that's the most important part because that's what's happened when you pull the trigger. As a shooter, you have to experience all of that energy going into your shoulder, whether it's to see the shot, whether it's to follow up afterwards, or whether it's recoil control. To me, that's the full experience when the trigger is pulled, and that's what you want to know. Recoil impulse. I had thought that this, having a suppressor or a brake or a bare muzzle would change the shape of the recoil impulse, uh, the peak forces over time. However, Ultimate Reloader has done some testing with a very expensive pressure pad, and has found that the shape actually doesn't change at all. Suppressors will uh, delay the recoil impulse slightly, and of course reduce the overall energy but the shape uh, doesn't change much at all. The recoil sled I'm using, although you know the visual parts are made of wood, it's actually running on 10 ball bearings and metal slides, etc. So I found it very repeatable, um, which is the important thing when testing the overall energy of each shot. One last thing before I sign off, perceived recoil. Now, suppressors reduce the sound so you don't need to wear ear protection. There is no muzzle blast that hits you in the face. And overall, it's a much nicer experience when you pull the trigger. This, to me, is the biggest advantage of a suppressor and shouldn't be overlooked. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found this video interesting. Make sure you subscribe and comment and let me know what you think. Cheers.